This is completely stupid. The show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. In his first clip, we've got a Karen who's just barely missed their plane. And their immediate reaction is to use the PA up at the staff desk and try and call over to complain about missing their plane that is leaving at this point in time. Here's a clip. It's supposed to be on a flight to Memphis. Oh Our connection was delayed. We're at L24. Girl. Can you please open the gate? Girl, she is on the mic right now. This is like public freakout level. The gate was closed when I got here. You know, I get the feeling when you do miss the plane, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure it's pretty common knowledge, even for people who don't take planes that often, me for example, to make sure that you turn up at the airport several hours beforehand to make sure that you have more than enough time to go through all the different checks that may delay you by long periods of time. So unfortunately, in this case here, unless there's something else that happened, like let's say a car crash occurred that slows you way down, it seems like that you're kind of a bit at fault here. Furthermore, so that a lot of flight companies kind of can be nice at times if you're nice to them they may see if the next flight to your destination has any spare seats in there you can yoink and they'll give you the ability to take one whether it be for free or not the other question but at the same time it's like get there early make sure you're always there early it's very simple in this next clip we've got a karen who's seemingly upset because a quote according to her kids were playing around in her garage and were gonna steal her bikes this right now. Okay, so, yeah. I guess the first and most important question here is why is your garage door open when you're not currently there in that garage? 
ultimately it's just wiser to not have it open unless you're there attending it and if you've just walked away for a brief moment and then come back I, I don't think that would be enough time to probably do anything I uh, just the question is like why is your garage door open in a time frame that they can actively steal it or be accused of stealing it when you look in there I, I don't know this is a wacky clip overall from what I the next clip we've got a neighbor Karen who believes that you're not allowed to cut wood because you cut wood bad. Karen says Wayne cannot split wood. No, no. I can do whatever I want. I'm allowed to cut wood. No, you're not. You sure? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. I, 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 I already talked to the village. You can call Patrick. You can call anybody you want, but I'm allowed to cut wood. I have a big giant truckload coming in a half hour. I'm going to fill up the whole fucking yard. Let's go. Gotta love the way he ends this clip by just dumping a whole truckload of wood into his yard. It's just like there's literally nothing the other guy can do about it because it's not the yard, it's not his yard the wood's being put into. It's being put in the guy's yard who he said can't cut wood. <laughs> it would honestly be really interesting just to see the clips of these two neighbors over the past 10 years just to see what shenanigans happened because I, I personally believe there'd be some funny stuff in there. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who thought it was a grand idea to get a loan for her mortgage out from Walmart. Coming here, I was um, trying to do um, a Western Union for my mortgage. Um, $10,000. $10,000 is over a uh, What do you mean over your limit? $10,000 is over a What is your limit? $10,000 over a <laughs> But what is the limit, ma'am? It's not $10,000. Okay, right now you sound like a little chihuahua or something. You know, right now you sound like a little chihuahua or something. You know, I ask you a question and you act like you can't give me an answer. I mean, is you tired? Are you still sleeping? I know it's early this morning. $10,000 is over the limit. I live in a twenty-five hundred. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm saying, because I was about to ask you what school you went to, because I was going to say like, okay, now she's not comprehending what I'm saying or what, you know, I know you work at Walmart. They just, you know, go hire anybody off the street. Hire <laughs> any AI off the street because you don't know what you're doing. That's fine. But, ma'am, okay, well, check this out. I just need to pay my mortgage. Okay, and I'm I gonna... ain't going to tell you again. You ain't going to tell me again. <laughs> well. Do you have a manager or something somewhere? Hey, uh, the Americans in my audience, I'm going to assume that this is not normal over there and this is just a weird person trying to find ways to pay their mortgage by getting out another loan with Walmart in order to pay their mortgage. <laughs> I've got many questions about this entire thing, as well as the fact that, like, I, I get it, she may be not allowed to properly say the limit, but that's a weird way to continue the conversation, like, well, it's not 10,000, sorry. And then she eventually says the limit anyway. Either way, it's just a funny interaction, it's just, just like, oh, yep, yeah, want to get my mortgage loan from good old Walmart over there. Oh, the staff won't give it to me. Oh, I've got a call for the manager now. In the next clip, we've got a Karen who's having her hair done by the boss of this hair salon, and she decides to go on and starts insulting the boss's assistants, the somewhat new person who is new to doing this. And then once she found out that the boss isn't going to be having any of this, she decides to go to lunch for a half attempt of a hit and then gets booted out. But it's me. I would never do anything to make him uncomfortable. Well, you're supposed to be with the customer. Oh, no, on, on this? No, I'm not in this room. I'm the boss here, Robin. <laughs> I'm not paying her. I'm paying her. Nope, but I pay her. Because she does what I say. And. Oh, come on, Sharon. You want to leave? You want to leave? All right, well, if you don't do my hair. You have your color on. You want to talk to me like that? Yeah. Robin! Sure. Mm -hmm. Robin, she's my assistant. She does. I want you to do my hair. Robin, I'm going to tell you again. Robin, don't talk to me that way. I can't. You can go. No, you're not going to talk to me that way. Oh my god. Robin, you don't want hair? Robin, you're not going to talk to me disrespectfully. Well, then you don't either. I'm going to have you do my hair. You're right. I want you to do it. Right. In this relax. Take it back. I will. Take it back. Robin, you can't talk to people like that and think that people are just going to like do whatever you say. Honestly, Robin, if you don't want to gear me out and like get to the resolution of this, you can leave without your color on. 
Are you gonna fucking hit me? Robin, right, get the fuck out. Oh my god, and do not cause a scene in my business. You just almost went to hit me, and you know what? Oh, it's on camera. Robin, you did it? Oh, get out. Here, let me get this oh one. Oh my god. Ew, Robin, that was fucking disgusting. You just made me waste product. Oh, oh my god, you're gonna let me go out. You, I did it, you did Look how you just spoke to me, and like, she just saw that. Robin, I'm just having... I apologize. I'm having a lot of stress in oh, my Robin. life. Robin, that was a lot, Robin. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Robin. Please. Please. No, Robin. Please. Robin, that Please. was, like, come Please. on, Robin. I mean, Please. here, we created a bond. And you just... So how do I get this out? You just have to go on and wash it. Robin, you can't disrespect people and expect people to do services for you. This is a service. It's not like the bank. You know what I mean? Like, I understand your situation with the bank, but you can't come in here in my business and make I it like... I have a lot of pressure I'm from my daughter. You know what? I have a lot of pressure, too. I mean, we all have pressure. I know, Let's just I end know. this. Here, Robin. Honestly, oh I appreciate you. God. Like, I'm wasting so much pride. You just gotta love the begging that the Karen does when she realizes that, oh shit, I stuffed up, I'm about to be booted out, and I'm, no, please, just finish my hair, please, just absolutely losing her mind over the fact that she, her actions have consequences. Who would have known? It's almost like a lot of people just go around their life acting like complete and utter imbeciles, not realizing that their actions do have consequences, at least every now and then. Either way, if you enjoyed this, make sure to like button down below, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm completely stupid. Bye.